I'm Andrew, and I'm setting out to make better videos for diesel enthusiasts. Follow along as I review products, do how-tos, and share my personal trucks here on Just Diesels. A lot of you guys have asked me, uh, specifically on Instagram and stuff, sent DMs, hey, I'm looking at buying a new truck or I'm looking at buying a used truck. These gas trucks are way cheaper. Should I buy one? Is it worth it? What's the end you know, benefit? What's the end cost? Uh, how's everything work out? You know, Which truck should I get? And it is actually kind of a hard choice. Uh, the gas trucks are really tempting. Obviously this channel is called Just Diesel, so you see what I prefer. But today we're gonna break down uh, kind of the pros and cons of both kind of figure out what is actually worth it, what isn't, and what actually comes down to just personal preference rather than hard numbers. So to start out with, let's talk a little bit about drivability. Now, in terms of these two trucks, one of the key differences is gonna be fuel economy, the other one's gonna be torque, right? As much power as you can make out of a gas truck, diesels are known for their torque, and it really does translate on the road. Now that torque is also uh, what's going to be helping you pull trailers. If you have a camper on your truck, that's gonna be helping fighting wind resistance, things like that. So in that situation, I really think that diesel takes the win. That's something that you can quantify in a horsepower or torque number, right? You can see it on a sheet of paper, but until you're actually behind a truck that is pulling a load or you know going up a grade or you have a camper on the back, something like that, you really can't feel a difference. And that's a place where the diesels really get ahead. The other area where diesels get ahead is in terms of fuel economy. If you've had a gas truck, uh, you probably know that you don't miss a gas station. I know this from experience uh, driving with friends, for example, we drove from Idaho to Vegas in a Ram Power Wagon. That's the gas engine uh, Hemi in there. And we didn't miss a single gas station, literally the whole trip, all we were doing was going to gas stations. I can tell you having done that same exact trip in a Cummins powered truck, we were averaging maybe 19 to 20. And in the Power Wagon, we were barely squeaking out 15 or 14. So that right there tells you there's a big difference and that does add up over time. Now, it depends where you live, what time of year it is. Sometimes diesel is cheaper than gas, sometimes gas is cheaper than diesel. But as a general rule of thumb, you can pretty much count on a diesel truck costing less to operate in terms of fuel. Now in terms of repairs, a lot of people are gonna tell you that diesels cost more to fix, right? The parts are more expensive, the parts are harder to find, there's a lot more parts, but really when you think about it, diesel trucks aren't that different. In terms of what's different, right? Obviously there's a turbo. Obviously there is, you know, on the newer trucks an emissions after treatment system. But on the older trucks, there's not a whole lot of variance. The big key areas where you're gonna find differences, obviously there's a couple extra parts here and there, but you know, things like injectors. Injectors will cost more on a diesel than they do on a gas truck, things like that. But in terms of the basic truck, a lot of the systems are shared, right? They both have a radiator, they both have a transmission. In fact, Oftentimes, manufacturers will use the same transmission in a diesel and a gas truck, so really there's no variation there. It's mostly in these small supporting parts that are part of the diesel truck, and there's very few of them. The big area difference, of course, is on the newer trucks with emission systems. And I will hand it to you, there is definitely a difference there, right? On a gas truck, you're never gonna have your def pump go out. You're never gonna have your DPF fail. You're never gonna have any of that stuff happen, and so if you're looking at it in terms of that kind of stuff, yes, gas trucks have an advantage. If you're trying to keep track of how much failure there is on the diesel trucks, it's hard to say. I have friends that have 250,000 miles on an 08 Cummins with all the factory emissions. 08, for example, is actually not a very reliable year in terms of the emission system. And then I have other friends that have 60,000 miles and tons of issues. One thing I see that is really common that causes issues on the emission system is stop and go driving. If you're looking at buying a truck or you yourself own a truck that's diesel and it has an emission system and you're pretty much just driving to the grocery store, short trips, that is stuff that will end up taxing the emission system and actually make it fail sooner. There's one area that I think a lot of people forget about when they're comparing a gas and a diesel truck, right? Everyone's looking at maintenance cost, fuel cost, replacement, pair co you know, replacement part cost, things like that. But one area that there's a huge difference is resale value. You can pretty much guarantee that a diesel truck will hold its value better than a gas truck. That goes the same for anything, right? A TDI uh, Jetta sport wagon, right, with their diesel in it is going to be worth significantly more than a gas Jetta sport wagon come 10 years down the road. But I didn't wanna just tell you guys this, I wanted to actually give you guys some numbers. So I went in Kelly Blue Book and pulled up a couple of examples. To start with, let's look at a 2012 Ram. So this truck was offered from the factory with both the Hemi and the 6.7 liter Cummins. Now 2012 is a good year because it's old enough that we have some higher mileage examples and so this data is actually accurate. Now if we go in Kelly Blue Book and we look at 
a 2012 truck, the original increase in price for the Cummins diesel was $6,626, right? So from the factory, if you had two identically optioned trucks, the difference would be six grand if you added the diesel. Now, for my example, I'm gonna be looking at a Laramie Crew Cab short bed, very standard issue truck, silver color. Uh, and we're gonna be looking in like the Los Angeles area code. So with 50,000 miles, the diesel truck is worth 38,000. 100,000 miles, it's worth 31. 150K, it's worth 25. 200,000 miles, it's worth 21. 250K, it's worth 18K. And at 300,000 miles, that truck is still worth $17,000. That's really impressive. Now let's look at the gas truck. Everything is gonna be exactly the same on this truck. All we're doing is changing it to the Hemi. At 300,000 miles, that Hemi truck is worth $11,000. Mind you, that's 17 for the diesel. At 250K, it's worth 12. If we could jump all the way back to 50,000 miles, right? You're comparing two super clean, low mileage trucks, right? They're both 2012s, everything's equal except for the engine. The diesel is going to be worth 38K, the gas truck, 32. Now, right there, that tells me that the diesel's holding its value. And I honestly will say that in my experience, these numbers are skewed. In my personal experience from shopping for these trucks, the diesels hold their value better than is reflected in Kelly Blue Book. And that's something to really think about because aside from all the repair costs, aside from gas, fuel prices, whatever, if you're looking just purely at resale value, the diesels are going to hold their value better. And I think that it actually makes the equation tip in their favor. Uh, regardless of everything else, um, that's gonna be a big defining factor for me personally. Now let's talk about the older trucks, right? Let's look at like an 06, for example, that's a pre-emissions truck. So you know there that you have no issues with emissions equipment, they're going to skew the math on the longevity of ownership and the actual end up cost of ownership. So if we look at a 2006 Ram 2500, for example, this is gonna be, again, a quad cab, short bed truck, Laramie trim, silver color. Again, in the Los Angeles area code, according to Kelly Blue Book, with 50,000 miles, that truck is worth $27,000 with a diesel engine. In my experience, they're going for more like 30, high 30s in that price, but we'll keep going. 100,000 miles, that same truck is worth 22. 150K, that truck is worth 18. 200,000 miles, that truck is worth 15. 250,000 miles, that truck is still worth $14,000. And at 300,000 miles, that 06 Ram with the Cummins in it is still worth 13K according to Kelly Blue Book. Let's look at the Hemi. At 300,000 miles, that Hemi is worth six grand. At 250K, that Hemi is worth seven. At 200,000, Hemi is worth eight. And at 50,000 miles, again, so two really identical, super clean trucks, the Hemi is only worth 20K versus the diesel, which is worth 27. So right there, I feel like that pretty much confirms the gap in resale value. And again, the gap's actually a lot bigger than is reflected on Kelly Blue Book. I think there's a lot of misreporting going on, especially with these older trucks. But that alone, for me, is a defining factor of why I would get a diesel, aside from having more power, aside from having more torque, aside from better fuel economy, I'm willing to offset the cost of maybe the injectors costing more or maybe you know the emission system failing for the fact that that truck is gonna retain its resale value significantly better than a gas truck. Now let's say you're not a numbers person, right? You don't feel like crunching these numbers. You don't feel like caring about what it actually ends up costing. You're not gonna sit there with a spreadsheet and count out everything. The diesel truck's just genuinely more fun to drive. I think that they're more responsive. I think that they have more power. Uh, it's just generally more fun to own a diesel. So if you can put a price on fun, if you can put a price on in the seat value of driving that truck, diesel wins in my book. So yeah, aside from all the hype, right? Everyone's gonna tell you, oh, you need a diesel. You gotta get a diesel. You know, you're not a man unless you drive a diesel. Let's be honest here. There's actually some good reasons that point to buying a diesel. If you're a numbers person, if you're crunching spreadsheets, uh, go ahead, crunch it out for your use case, for your, you know, what you're doing with the truck, figure out what stuff costs, go ahead and do that. For me personally, the numbers are close enough that it becomes something that's about my personal preference, right? If the numbers were super far off, if there was a huge disadvantage financially to diesel, I'd probably have a gas truck. But when they're that close, especially when you factor in resale value, I think the answer is clear to just get the diesel. It's more fun to drive. It's a cooler vehicle. Uh, it's kind of a more niche vehicle. And in the States, diesels aren't as common, so it's just kind of fun to have one. So that's my personal opinion. You guys tell me what you think, but I think in the end, diesel's worth it. I'm gonna continue to own diesel trucks and I really have no plans of ever getting a gas truck. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, please, I'd actually love to hear your guys' commentary. If you've had a work truck that you've put super high miles on, if you've had any examples of owning two trucks that are identical, gas and diesel, I'm curious to find out how things shook out, what stuff cost, 
how it actually panned out financially, and if it was worth it to buy the gas or the diesel, um, which one worked out better for you guys. So please let me know in the comments, help share with everyone else, help everyone else you know, make their decision. I know there, there's a lot of factors involved in this. So anything we can do to help people out, it's always helpful. Thank you guys so much. If you want more, please subscribe to my channel. I'd be uploading a new video every week.